Hi everyone, welcome to Showint channel. I'm Taiji, a network engineer in Japan. Showint is a YouTube channel that delves into the inner working of the internet and the network industry. Today, we are going to dive into the world of console server. Console server are essential devices for a network initial build or network troubleshooting. In this episode, it's supported by Seiko Solution, a console server vendor. What is console server? A console server is a device that allows you to securely access network devices through a management network. If network devices have IP address, you can access them using a SSH or Telnet protocol. But how do we get the devices that don't have IP address yet? For example, imagine a network device with factory default setting or an interface is not working with some reason. In this case, IP-based protocol like SSH or Telnet become unusable, leaving network engineers with a limited option. Such a case is where console server becomes crucial. Let's see some practical example of how console server can be helpful. Network devices often experience IP-related access issue due to a hardware failure or other disruptions. Imagine these scenarios. Multiple links go down simultaneously. A router keeping rebooting. A router's configuration is accidentally reset to factory default. Such incidents often occur due to hardware failure, human error, or other similar causes. In these cases, IP-based protocol like SSH or Telnet don't work. Thankfully, there is a solution for this situation using a console port. Console port is delicate management port on network devices. You can find it in almost all network devices. Console ports lack network functionality, but they allow direct cable connection to laptop or personal machines. This enables you to view and modify configuration even when network devices are in a factory default setting. So you can think of console port as a secret backdoor for emergencies. However, console ports lack remote access capabilities. This means network engineers need to physically travel to data center and direct connect to the console port of the affected devices. This can significantly delay troubleshooting and recovery, especially for data center located far away. Console server bridges this gap by providing remote access capabilities. Let's take a look at the actual console server, the smart CS from Seiko Solutions. While console server might resemble data center switches at the first glance, they serve completely different purpose. Multiple ports of the console server are specifically designed to connect to the console ports of each network device. Like regular servers, console servers has also have RAM ports. By assigning IP address to the RAM ports, you can access the console server remotely using SSH or Telnet protocol over the internet or your management network. This remote access capability allows network engineers to troubleshooting or change configuration from their office or their homes. Imagine the time saved. No more traveling to the data center for every issue. Now, let's take a look at the SmartCS command line interface. SmartCS uses a CLI similar to other network devices making familiar and easy to operate for experienced network engineers. Upon logging into a smart CS, you will see a list of connected network devices as shown here. Selecting a device number like one, will display another menu follow on the screen prompt to access the target network devices. Once connected, you have full control over the device. You can view configuration, make a change, and even reboot the device if you want. Unlike SSH or Telnet protocol, 
Smart CS can be display a boot message and error logs during the boot process from the network devices because of it connected to the console port of the devices. It provides variable insight for troubleshooting. Hopefully, this demonstrates the power of the console server in enabling efficient emergency response through a remote access. Console server is an essential tool in the network operations, enabling prompt and comprehensive troubleshooting and recovery during the network failures. This video has hopefully clarified the importance of the console servers. If you are interested in the smart CS from the Seiko Solutions, check the link in the description of this video for more information. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. See you around. Bye.